previously on Ivan Automotives. Now, if you are new here and this is your first time to visit this channel, just hit that red button, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Those who have been here for some good time, please like and comment our videos. We're doing this to achieve the stars yeah, that are on the sky, so we're going to have the sky in the night <laughs> covered with the stars. The embroidery on the upholstery is also tailor-made to the customer's design choice. So there's no real standard process that's repeated with embroidery just because every single design is completely unique to the customer. It's not just a case of scanning in an image, turning it into embroidery. Every single aspect of the image is thought out. The different angles of the stitch will reflect the light in a different way. So rather than it just being a flat image, we're trying to bring it out to that next level. So it's almost three-dimensional, like a hologram effect that you can get from our stitching. The most complex embroidery project that Rolls Royce has completed is the special Rose Phantom model, which consists of one million individual stitches. The Rose Phantom is the biggest embroidery we've done to date. We'll have to map out exactly what order we're putting all those embroideries onto the leather so that they all join up to match some of the stitching. There's no tolerance, it can't be out by a millimetre otherwise it's completely written off. Just take a small aspect of the Rose Phantom. It's a good example of the development of one of the butterflies. What seems relatively simple in like an image actually becomes very complex for embroidery. So for the Phantom Rose Headliner, there's a few techniques that we hadn't used before. Because of the, the scale of the Rose Headliner, uh, we had to break it down into individual elements. So each individual butterfly, the flower heads themselves, and then all the vines and leaves. So you can see here, it's basically different layering of different colored stitches in different densities. And by building those up, we can create that sort of fade effect where it's darker to the center, fades out towards the wings, fine tune them to the quality that we expect, and then start combining it and bringing it all together for the whole headliner. Rolls Royce has seen a boom in sales over the past 10 years. In 2019, sales increased by roughly 25%, increasing to 5,152 units, with the average age of a Rolls Royce owner dropping from late 50s to mid 40s. Take Drake, for example. His Rolls Royce, a special edition of the Phantom, left the factory at a value of about 700,000 US dollars. However, the customizations that Drake made made the cost of the Rolls Royce he bought to go to approximately 1 million US dollars. The most expensive Rolls Royce ever built was the Sweeptail. A result of a four years work, this one of a kind car costs approximately 13 million US dollars, previously holding the title of the world's most expensive new car. But while other top end car manufacturers focus on speed, maneuverability, and super lightweight supercar status, Rolls Royce cars are expensive for one reason luxury. Yes, thank you for watching. Please stay good to Ivan Automotives. Just hit that subscribe button to follow up on our latest uploads and always share our videos, like and comment. Yes, comment. Thank you and always come back. Sky in the night covered with the stars.